This is Townsend Road, sort of central part of Ashford. Three good double bedrooms, detached bungalow. Short walk to your sort of local amenities of the high street, train station. Some nice popular residential spot here. You can see a little front garden, double gates, it's a driveway with garage positioned at the very rear. So there's enough space there for at least two cars comfortably. Take you through into the entrance hallway. As you can see, nice long inviting entrance hallway. It has been extended this one, so the original layout would have been quite different and now we have much more living accommodation and a nice kitchen sitting across the back looking onto the garden. We'll start with the two rooms at the front. We have two double bedrooms. These two rooms are actually both identical size. Both have fitted wardrobes also. As you can see, the room goes into the bay. It's quite pleasant, just give you a little bit more depth. Lots of light coming in across the front there as well. Take you across the hallway to the second bedroom. Again, as I mentioned, similar dimensions to next door. Double fitted wardrobes across there. As you can see, comfortable double bedroom. Plenty of room for a bed, bedroom furnishings. As you can see, they've got the vanity desks in both of the bay windows in both rooms. Just good double bedroom. Bedroom number three. Again, as you can see, ample room. Whilst there's nothing in this room, more than enough space probably to have wardrobes along one, one wall. But still ample room for your bed. That looks out onto the side driveway there as well, so you're not looking directly onto a neighbour's property. Across the hallway here we have the extended lounge, so you can see where the, what is likely a still goes across there, which would have been the boundary previously of the property, and therefore you would have had a much smaller lounge that would have probably sat in about that sort of space, there or thereabouts. But actually, now we have the extension, we almost have double that. So you've kind of got this nice through lounge, which gives, you know, I suppose ample space to have your sitting arrangement up one end, with probably the dining to the rear, looking out onto the back garden, which is equally situated just off the kitchen. So. The layout obviously is ultimately up to yourself to decide upon, but there's more than enough space here to kind of rejig it as suits you best. Sliding doors out into the garden and then into the kitchen extension, which again is just off the hallway. So we will come back because I haven't come to the bathroom just yet. Recently fitted, kind of got a little breakfast bar arrangement here. Fridge freezer, dishwasher just by the sink there. Cooker with gas hob. More than enough work surface space here. Nice ceramic tiles, view out onto the garden, which is really quite pleasant, as you can see. Run it a bit back to front, but I'll just take you back down the hallway now to the bathroom. Have a little bit of storage here too, which is great. So slightly dated, but actually remarkably well kept. Four piece suite, so we have the shower, cubicle, bath, sink and toilet. Nice big window as well, so you don't have to have the extractor fan going all the time, which I think is quite a nice plus. But lots of room in here, as you can see, radiator on the right hand side. Lots of room to move about, which is quite pleasant if you're quite a large family, all heading to work at the same time, there's more than enough room for all of you in there. Give you a little look back down to the front door, you can see the loft hatch as well. Take you out into the garden now. So the garden from the back fence here, say it's probably about 40 foot to the other back fence. Got the sort of raised little decking area, patio just beyond lawn, and then tucked in the back corner there, sort of shrubs, little extra area if you're into your gardening, maybe to grow some veggies, something like that. Take you up onto the deck area, give you a look back at the property. you can see you've kind of got bungalows either side just nice quiet pleasant road and then the garage which I'll give you a little look in now as well
Got lighting out here. There are some power sockets on the wall, generally just being used for storage at the moment. But the up and over door at the end of the driveway, obviously, is where they're keeping their wheelie bins at present. And then you go through this little section at the back, which is being used as a worktop. So I think the thing when you have a space like this, it's crying out for just the purpose of storage. Or you go to that sort of next level where you have a home office, maybe a little gym, something like that, but adequate room here to still keep a storage area and then sort of do as you see fit with the back section or, or kind of reconfigure it to your own purposes. But plenty of room here, just position in the back garden. I'll shut that door up, I'll give you one bit last look through. Just a small outside tap there. This always comes in handy. With the latter part of the afternoon, we're about three o'clock now. You can see where the sun's coming into the garden. So it's probably west facing over there, there or thereabouts, I would say. Yeah, really sizable property in a nice central location in Ashford. Three good double rooms, extended reception room, and the bathroom currently is large enough for a four-piece suite. Particularly good, this one. Lots of off-street parking to the front. It comes with no onward chain. Please contact us if you're interested in arranging a viewing in the Ashford branch. Thank you.